That's good. Getting into first gear. Oh, holy part. shit. Now, just stay on the road. <laughs> Most important rule there is. Now, let's try shifting into second. Okay. I wasn't expecting this. Especially for a first time. You just gotta ease up off the clutch a little smoother, all right? You don't have to make the switch all at once. I want to do it again. You will. And next time, just be gentle. And once we get down to Florida, we'll ditch the wheels and I'll make a sailor out of you. Mark God damn, my he's words. still looking at that Florida thing, huh? You too, buddy. I thought he already gave up on the boat. I just can't get him to talk. Yeah. Whatever. It's unusual for his age. Well, the heater's broken. He's cold. Only makes sense to head for Florida sooner than later. Leave all this snow behind, right? Be like summer every day. Hell, I'm gonna have to find me some shorts. It's not so bad here. The weather will be better in spring. We should wait. Or we could just drive. The further south we get, the higher the temperature goes up. We'll be sweating in no time. I'll teach AJ to fish. Yay, heat stroke. How to swim. All right. We'll watch the sunrise every morning. All three of us. We ain't getting nowhere doing 25 miles an hour. Shift her into third. Let's get her really cooking. Well, there you go, Clem. Time we get to Florida, you'll be a better driver than me. Proud of you, Clem. Probably already am, considering the whole 2 eye thing. Yeah, I like this. Driving is fun. Where's like your blanket, fucking... goofball? Big boss from Metal Gear Solid. I swear this kid never makes a peep. Who knows how long he's gone without a blanket? The duck was gabbing a mile a minute at his age. Wasn't full sentences, but something. There's nothing wrong with AJ. He'll talk when he's ready. I know. Just a bit odd for a child his age. Then again, Albert Einstein didn't talk till he was four, and <laughs> look how he turned out. Crap! I got uh oh! It. Turn the wheel! Don't! Oh shit! Okay. Yeah, you really got it. Oh Christ, he's not dead, is he? AJ? Oh God, you're okay. Oh, fuck. Kenny? Is that seriously how he dies? You gotta be shitting me. Oh, shit. Are you okay, Kenny? I'm fine. I'm fine. Is AJ okay? Shit. Help me yeah, out. He was wearing a fucking seatbelt. I'm like somebody. Yeah, that's not working. I don't, I don't feel anything. Oh. That's good. Oh, fuck. Clem, I don't feel anything. He can't walk. I can't feel my legs. I just can't get up. God damn it! I can get you into the car! I don't... Shit! This ain't gonna work, Clem. Hey! Hey! Stay away from him! You gotta go help AJ, Clem. I ain't letting you watch those fuckers chew me up. Go, Clem! Now! Okay. Okay, kitty. Goodbye. Good. Go. Now, goddammit. Hey, dipshits. Come and get it. Hey, Jim. Come on. Ah! 
Fuck. I knew they were gonna kill him off anyway. That's just what Telltale does. Sun's up. It's just kind of disappointing. <sighs> Trip's probably mad as hell by now. What do you think he'll do to you? Oh, nothing. He'll yell at me a little. Trip and I, we sort of used to be a thing. It was for like five minutes, and it fizzled out fast. But he never really got over it. Not that he's weird about it or anything. I just know he likes having me around. Relationships can change pretty fast, and they're never not complicated. Sounds like you've got something on your mind. Or someone. Guys, that's the place. Yeah, this is it. Oh, shit. They didn't destroy the van, did they? Guns out, yeah. If you insist. Oh, fuck. The herd took him over. Jesus. Must have been hundreds of them. Kate's good in a crisis. She'd know how to get shelter. What's that? Uh, let's go ahead and... Well, we can look at him. Uh... What about that? Alright, let's get the hatchet. Or not the hatchet, but whatever. Anyway. Die. Okay. Give me that tape player. Mariana? Mariana, are you here? Javi! Oh my god! You're safe! I can't believe it! You told me where to hide. I just listened to what you said. Lock yourself in and don't come out, not even once it's quiet. It kept running through my head like on a loop. I don't even know how long I was in there. Then I heard your voice. I thought I was hallucinating at first. You did exactly what you should have done. I always knew you were a smart kid. Thanks. It was scary at first, but once the muertos couldn't see me anymore, they just passed by. Kate and your brother, where are they? We got pulled apart when that huge bunch of muertos showed up. Kate yelled that they were going to try to make it back to the van. And that's where we're headed. Let's go get your brother back, sweetie. Oh, no. No. No sign of him. They must have seen it like this, then gone someplace Sun's else not getting hide. her van. Kate. They're trapped in there. Hey, there they are. Wait! Nobody shoots. He's right. We fire at the truck, we might hit them. God damn. I like this weapon. Point you, but that really is a gun in my pocket. <laughs> nice to see you too, asshole. <sighs> I, I wanted to come after you. I, I swear I did. You don't have to snot all over my shirt about it. I thought we were dead. Like, never gonna see you again dead. We only had a couple bullets left. I thought we were done for. There's no way I would let that happen. Yeah, well, you weren't here. The herd showed up and Mariana was gone and we were waiting and, and waiting and then I was just so scared. I'm here now. You don't have to be scared. Hey, you hurt yourself. You must have scraped it in the truck. Didn't even notice. Hey, at least it's not a bite. Eleanor, think you can take a look? 
It's okay. I'm a doctor. I'll clean it here, then patch you up back home. See? Better already. We should be getting back. Don't want to push her luck. Who's the kid with the gun? She have a name you want to share with us? Or are you going to make me do my own introductions? She saved my life. Pulled this crazy stunt. Let me get the upper hand on the asshole who took me away from you guys. Her name's Clementine. Hi there. Glad I was able to help. Well, we're very grateful to you. Really. There's a town nearby. It's safe. I like the sound of that. This oh seems too happy. Abby, I, do they have hot water? I don't trust it. Even like lukewarm water would be okay. Ugh, oh, and bubble bath. Wouldn't bubble bath be amazing? I think so. Right, Eleanor? <laughs> of course we have hot water. We're not cavemen. I thought you'd been to this place. I have. I just... I didn't have much time to relax in my jacuzzi suite, <laughs> you know? You look happy. I am. Search and rescue missions don't usually end so well. Alive and healthy. Sort of incredible. Well, let's wait to celebrate oh, until we're no. back behind the walls, okay? I don't want to jinx us. I'm just happy for you is all. Uh, this ain't gonna end when well. We get back to Prescott. You still owe me a working ride. I haven't forgotten about our deal. You couldn't have known what happened to your van, but still, I need some way out of here. Don't worry. I haven't forgotten our arrangement. I know it's not the easiest thing to find, but cool. Thanks. Shit. God damn it. Fuck. I don't think so. God damn it. Javi, we can't leave her. Oh, she's shit. Oh. Kate. <laughs> she's dead too. Stop. They're all fucking dead. Stop. God damn it. Hobby, help! Do something, Hobby! Did you do something? Go! Jesus Christ. Ah, uh, fuck. I, I mean, it was obvious this wasn't going to end well, but oh, man. Before they start shooting again. I'm gonna fucking kill them. I'm gonna kill all of them. That's not gonna bring her back, Javi. So what? I'm just supposed to let him live? If you really want to help your family, you'll come with me. We can't wait anymore. We stay here and we finish this. Are you crazy? We have to go now. I've already killed one of you. If we don't stop them, they're gonna come after your family again. Let Eleanor help them. You stay with me. What? No, Javi, you have to come with us. Javi, please. Trust me, Javi. We have to end this now. No, Javi, please come with us. Please. Javi, come on. I gotta. I have to stay with my family. Go. I'll hold him off. I said go. There, there's no other call here. Like that. The other option's stupid, regardless of whether or not it's Clem. You know. Fuck. Like, I knew that was gonna happen. I knew she was gonna get, get, get shot right there. 
and it still shocked me. Like, that was... Ugh. Yikes. Kate? Kate, wake up. I'm pretty surprised they didn't all die, though. Yeah, that's it. Fuck me, man. Jeez. Well, welcome back to The Walking Dead, everyone. Fuck. Um, that's a tough one. So, yeah. No, I mean... Uh, I thought that was a pretty good episode. Um, I'm typically not uh, that invested when it comes to the walking Telltales of the Walking Dead. Season 1, I was kind of... Eh, it was alright. In my opinion, I know everybody, you know, is obsessed with that game, but uh, I wasn't that big on it. I thought it was okay. You know, I didn't think it was bad. I thought it was okay. Season 2, I thought, was a little bit better, in my opinion. But, uh, that was... That was pretty intense, man. And, uh... Yeah, I don't know, I don't know what to say on it, honestly. Um, I think that, uh... Okay, I'll say this real quick before we get into the actual, you know, meat of the episode. But just real quick. Um, I was really... I'm really annoyed by their decision with Kenny. That That is just so... Part of the course, typical fucking telltale, you know, they, they, they kill off a character that, you know, you, you, you saved in the previous season like that. And it's just like, it's one of those things where it's like, ah, it's too much work to write this character in and also have him not in, in other circumstances. So we're just going to go ahead and kill him. We're just going to kill him off right now and just save ourselves the hassle and the extra work of, uh, you know, trying to write two different stories. And I get it. It's like, it's tough. It's definitely a difficult thing to do. But, I, I mean, I've said this a million times over when it comes to The Walking Dead. It's like, that's fine. But don't fucking pretend that my choices matter. Stop pretending. It's, you know they don't. Stop saying they do. Because they, they do not. Even if it marginally changes things for one episode, they will go full circle and, and clean all the mess up that they may have made for themselves within another episode or two. That's just what they do. It's what they do with Kenny. And it doesn't surprise me in the slightest. That having been said, aside from that one thing, which is a pretty important thing, but aside from that, I really enjoyed this episode. I thought it was really well done. I'm very surprised that they decided to go with Clementine here. Uh, or they decided to, to not let you play as Clementine, to have you play as this different character, Javier. But um, I'm liking him so far. He seems like a bit of a smartass, and... Um, you know, it's an interesting occupation, professional baseball player. I was pretty, I was right, you know, about the idea that, you know, he has this white collar job coming from a, you know, a blue collar household. Um, and, uh, yeah, I don't know. I find that character intriguing. I've changed kind of how I wanted to go about handling his character throughout the episode. It's obviously a big thing for me. I like constructing at least somewhat believable characters with arcs and progression and things of that nature. And um, Javier is no different, right? Uh, I, I look at Javier and I think... Um, this is a dude who his family matters to him more than anything. That is the most important thing to him. He will throw everything else away in favor of that, no matter what the circumstance is. Um, to go with that, he generally, unless it has to do with the safety of his family, will do the safe and smart thing. Um, but, you know, emotions get the better of you when there are people that you really, truly care about and love. And there is a point to be made that perhaps that is a bit of a detriment uh, to him, but that's a believable character, a believable motivation. Um, but yeah, I, I'm I honestly, in, to be completely and totally genuine, I'm very surprised they didn't kill off all the family members. I'm surprised that they only killed off the one. I was really honestly expecting it to just be a slaughter, and all three of those characters were going to die, and this nurse character was going to haul me back off to wherever, the whatever city, it, uh, the you know town or whatever it is, um, and that she was going to launch herself as this new love interest to, and, and all that sort of thing. Which, by the way, I, I'm not into the idea of, you know, pulling a Shane and fucking my brother's wife. You know, that's not my deal. Um, I know it wasn't Shane's brother, but you get what I mean. That's just... Uh, I don't like that. Um, so I think I'm going to try to at least refrain from that as much as possible unless they, like, just absolutely force it on me. Um, but, yeah. So, okay, here's another thing. Um, real quick, uh, there are actually 
two episodes that have been released, uh, you know, with the release of the game um, the other day, uh, they released episode one and two at the same time. So I will be doing the next episode here very soon. Um, you know, it's, it is, you know, the holidays, so things are kind of hectic once again. Um, not quite as bad as they were during the school year, but I'll, I'll, you know, be trying to get that taken care of, um, here in the very near future. You should, you shouldn't have too long of a wait between episode one and two. In any case, um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you did, please be sure to like and subscribe and all that. And I will see you guys next time. Okay, fuck. That escalated very quickly. Which is quite frankly inexcusable. Especially, I'm running it on a 980 Ti. You know? So, it's not the fucking card. I can tell you that much right now.